It is a shocking indication of just how short staffed the Seattle Police Department has become. The interim police chief confirming to Fox 13 that a lack of detectives is behind a drastic reduction of investigations into new sex assault cases. Fox 13 News reporter Frankie Thompson takes a look at the department's new plan to get back on track. When survivors of sexual assault are seeking justice, the last thing they want to hear is a backlog of cases within the Seattle Police Department. You know, I understand that there have been delays, you know, and uh, sometimes us making contact, but we're working through all of those challenges. We want to make sure that you have a voice, that we want to make sure that your case is being heard and that, you know, we are doing everything we can to bring justice. Chief Adrian Diaz says the heavy caseload within the sexual assault unit presents a bigger issue within the entire department. Every bureau, every section is shorter staffed. They don't have as many officers or as many detectives doing that extra work. Because when we have more people that we're hiring, we're able to backfill the, the detective positions, the sexual assault, the homicide and robbery, you know, detectives. Uh, with good officers to help investigate those uh, areas of, of work. He says since 2019, the number of detectives has dwindled from 234 down to 134, and that's including those who investigate sexual assault cases. But Diaz says as soon as he became aware of the backlog in April, he immediately sought out solutions like adding one detective to the unit that same month. And then we're adding one more detective in the month of June to really help us be able to address some of the backlog that we have. Because when you're short staffed, uh, you're still working through all the cases, but you're having to really triage every single case. And there's a lot of catching up to do. According to King County prosecutors, there have been fewer and fewer sexual assault cases referred to their office by SPD. In April 2020, the prosecutors received 123 cases, but only 72 cases that following April. Diaz says as the department faces challenges retaining, recruiting, and hiring staff, they're using what they have to investigate these top priority cases. We've also been, you know, utilizing our domestic violence unit that has very similar skills to our sexual assault detectives, and they're dealing um, with interviewing, you know, skills with, you know, children. Uh, and families that have been, you know, in trauma. The King County Sexual Assault Resource Center says only a small fraction of victims choose to report to law enforcement. The director says those who do report tell us they often feel their experience, this crime, is not taken seriously. When victims are not given basic information about timing, options, and next steps in their cases, the system is failing them. Diaz says that's why the department is also teaming up with organizations like that one to offer a host of resources towards healing. The trauma that people are that people have from these cases, it's it, it's an emotionally draining situation, and they want to have some level of accountability and justice for what happened. And so we have to make sure that we're you know going through each and every case. Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.